Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday morning, 7 a.m. Drinking a protein shake. I feel, I feel exceptionally tired this morning. Like snoozed my alarm twice. Tired, which I, I'm setting alarms now because um, Alice has started sleeping in later, but I really like grew accustomed to having this morning time and something that I don't want to lose. It's it's like a, a huge way to set myself up for success for the day and have some time for myself, exercise, shower, do laundry. So I've started like just waking up at six-ish even when Alice is still sleeping. I think I need to like splash some water on my face again. Um, I'm about to go hop on the Peloton bike, so that'll probably wake me up a little bit. Gonna shower, do all the things before the kids wake up and we hop into the day. Hello, hello, post shower, morning routine, everything. Um, I'm about to get dressed. It's like 8 a.m. I cannot believe that Alice is still sleeping. I pumped around six when I got up and I figured then we would just give her a bottle when she wakes up. But I mean, depending on how late she sleeps, like I may have enough supply back to just nurse her. And then what I pumped this morning would just be like a surplus for the freezer stash, which is great. Um, but I can't believe she's still sleeping. She went to bed at 9 p.m. last night, so 11 hours of sleep. That's like, I feel like th like we, this is, we made it. We're like out of the newborn stage. Hopefully this sticks and the era of like sleep deprivation is done. I mean, I'm sure there will be regressions and everything and difficult nights, but like for this kind of sleep to start becoming the norm, I'm like, please, please. Um, all right, I'm gonna get dressed. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this right here. I made a little capsule wardrobe. Last week, I was working on a video with Rachel where we're talking about like rediscovering our sense of style and, you know, navigating all of that postpartum, just having fun with fashion again and, and trying to, to make getting dressed in the morning feel less daunting. And my strategy for that was to make a little like summer capsule wardrobe, going through everything in my closet this is what I ended up with, kind of. This is like, this is like after a week and a half of dressing from this and uh, being very behind on laundry. So it's like half gone, but I'm getting caught up on laundry today. So it's gonna be replenished, but it doesn't really matter for today anyways, cause I already have my outfit set out. Um, I'm going to Disneyland later today. Me and Rachel are going with all the kids. And while we're there, Rachel and I thought it would be fun to each wear one of our outfits from that video. So I'm wearing this cute, little black ribbed tank top, denim shorts. I have some accessories picked out. I'm also gonna add Mickey ears since it is Disney. Okay, here is the fit. Also, sorry, my mirror is so dirty. <laughs> There we go. Here's the fit. I also have a, a white button up to go with it, but I'm, ki I'm kind of digging the simplicity of this. It's really cute. Maybe I'll add it later in the day, but for now, I feel like this, this is what I want. So I'm gonna go out to the living room and try to get some tidying done before the kids get up and the day gets going. We're not going to Disneyland until later in the day. I think we're gonna leave here around like 2.30. So we're just gonna like lay low hang out this morning, keep it low key. I'm gonna try to squeeze in a little bit of work if I can at my desk and uh, get prepped and packed for a Disney afternoon. Yay. All right, it is 9 a.m. now. I'm folding some of Alice's laundry here. Alice woke up, Grace somehow still asleep. Um, I'm sure she'll be walking out here to join us any moment now. But anyways, the reason I ran to pick up the camera in the midst of folding laundry is I wanted to show you this shirt that I got. This is a vintage Disney baby little button up. I'm so obsessed with it. This is like the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. So absolutely, obviously 
having Alice wear this today. Um, but I got it last weekend. We went up to LA to see Ryan and Paloma in Legally Blonde, which, oh my God, like I, I know they're both so incredibly talented. Like I knew it was gonna be amazing, but it was phenomenal. Like just so incredible. P just, oh my God, she's just such a perfect L and I could just go on and on. I'm just so, so proud of Ryan and Paloma. While we were up in LA, we went to the Melrose Trading Post, which is like a really popular kind of trendy LA flea market. And I've never been, but it was so cool. And actually like way less crowded than I expected. Definitely something that I would go back to. And they had like a bunch of vintage booths and a lot of like 90s nostalgia stuff of like old VHSs and old toys from my childhood, like still in the box and everything. It was really cool. And vintage Disney baby clothes. Okay. Back to folding laundry, see you later. Cheers. Sharing a bowl of blueberries with my toddler. Hmm. Your turn. Mommy, mm -hmm. I see you like the little ones. You see I like the little ones? Like this one? Yeah, I like that one. It's so tiny. I know, you like this one. It's so little tiny. Mm. And mommy, maybe today, mm -hmm. mom, 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 would you go check on the uh, old tile if outside in? Yeah, I'd love to. You want to go check on the caterpillars in the garden? Yeah. You want to go after our blueberries or go now? Go now. All right. Alice is down for her first nap of the day. I'm on I see it. We're coming out to check on the garden and the caterpillars. There's so many. Do you think we should count them? In the, my whole life. The biggest caterpillar you've seen in your whole life? Right there. Our tomatoes are doing awesome over here. We haven't had any ripe ones yet, but look at that. They're coming. And look at these, Grace. See that? That's gonna be a cantaloupe. You remember that's what we planted here? And we've harvested most of our radishes over here. I think we'll pick a few more today for some avocado toast. Grace, do you wanna pick one? Nice, that's a good one. Well, I was gonna make true avocado toast because our neighbor made us the most amazing loaf of sourdough, but I didn't realize, I think Stephen finished it off. I thought we had a little bit more left. So instead, I'm gonna make the avocado hash brown toast. I have not been staying up to date on my water intake this morning, so let's get that going. With the Stanley, a uh, reminder to hydrate, drink some water today. Your body will thank you. It is a little afternoon now. I just got Alice down for a nap and Steven is on his lunch break. So he was down to hang with Grace for a little bit. Perfect time for me to unbox some packages with you guys. I have a few PR things. I have some new shorts that I bought that I'm so, so excited about. We'll start with the shorts because that's right on top. I, I have been wanting to get a pair of like plaid boxer style shorts. I had so many outfits like this yeah, yeah. on my Pinterest inspo board that I made for the finding my style video. And I looked and looked to try to find some for the video and I could not find any that went above an XL. And I was like, dang it. Like, I just think these are so cute. These are like something I could wear all the time. They seem super comfy. And then a couple days ago, I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw for like the millionth time, someone showing those type of shorts and I clicked on the link expecting them to not come in my size. And they did. This brand went up to 3XL. They're called Oddly. So, so very cute. So I ordered them. These are really lightweight like I hope they're not see-through lightweight how cute are these though oh my gosh stop this with like a white t-shirt or a tank top oh my god these are so cute they're very very lightweight which could be good for like obviously staying cool in the summer as long as they're not see-through they feel nice they've got the elastic waist I'm gonna go through the other packages and then we've got to try these on together and you know what I let's just go try them on now I'm too excited then we'll do the other packages okay they're they're not bad but they're not quite everything that I had hoped. I feel like with the right styling, they could look cuter, but they are, they're definitely giving very 
pajama. They're not see-through, I don't think, which is a pleasant surprise. The waistband fits nice. They fit okay in the legs. I just wish that they were like a little bit looser or had a little more give. I'm wearing a 3XL for context. Also, I feel like because this fabric is so light, it's really bunching and gathering, especially around my crotch. So I feel like I'd be doing this dance all day, readjusting. I mean, they're cute. They're cute. I'm still very much here for the trend, but I'm not gonna lie. I, I had higher hopes for these. All right, back to the Abercrombie denim. Yeah, I mean, they're cute. I think I'll probably end up wearing them more around the house than like as a full fit, like out of the house. I don't know, maybe I still will once I experiment with like styling them a little bit more, but I really thought these were gonna be like a slam dunk. Okay, next I have a package from Hope and Plum. This is a baby carrier. I am so excited about this. So they are a small woman owned business and their carriers look amazing. They were one of the, the top ones that you guys recommended to me when I was asking about baby carriers on Instagram. And they actually reached out to me and were like, hey, we'd love to send you our carrier to try it out. Oh my, they said they were sending a, a new print that they just got in. This is beautiful look at that it says handmade in minnesota made with natural fibers safety tested and approved easy to wash and care for this is their lark carrier a lot of you guys said that this one is amazing for taking on the go because it actually packs down like it's pretty lightweight oh my gosh it's just beautiful oh and there's a card in the box they said sierra congrats on the birth of your sweet baby girl we hope you love our new wildflower lark reach out if you need anything xo the hope and plum team thank you so much hope and plum oh my god this feels so nice oh my god i'm so excited okay one more package and she's a big one oh oh no Oh no, are we okay? You good? Okay, I will make sure to slam my packages down less aggressively. But look, from Disney. There we go. Disney gifted us a big old box of stuff to celebrate Donald Duck's 90th birthday. Happy birthday, Donald. Can't wait to celebrate you today. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, these Donald Duck 90th ears, so cute. Then we have this little summertime Donald Duck fanny pack. Ooh, this is Stony Clover Lane. Their stuff is so nice. I have another fanny pack from them from their Disney collaboration. It's like super spacious too. Oh my God, I wanna like plan my park day outfit for today around all of this. I gotta wear the one for the video. I'm like, we gotta, we gotta incorporate some of this, okay. Donald Duck plushie. Grace is gonna be very excited. And a Funko Pop. Oh my gosh. The little Donald and Daisy earrings. A Barefoot Dreams blanket. The softest blankets known to man. And I have never had one. I put one on my Christmas list for the last couple years. I just, I just wanna curl up with this right now. I'm so, oh my. Daisy and Donald luggage tags. We are leaving on a trip next week, so these are gonna get used very soon. Oh, little Donald and Daisy heart necklace to match the earrings, so cute. We have a lounge fly. Oh, that's so cool. It's, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it like, it changes between the original Donald Duck to now. That is really cool. And last but not least, this super cool like retro button up with all of these different Mickey and Donald Duck posters. I have a shirt in this style, but it's like all the different Fantasyland rides and I love it. I wear it to Disney all the time. It's like so cute tied up with shorts or I'll wear it open with like bike shorts and a tank top. Oh my gosh, I'm like blown away. Thank you, Disney. I'm gonna bring this downstairs to show to Grace. And uh, it's not too long now until we're leaving for Disney. We're gonna meet there at four. Originally, we were gonna meet there at like one or two. And then we realized like, why go during the peak heat of the day when we can just wait it out a little bit, enjoy like the late afternoon sunset, maybe a little bit into the evening. That's the nice thing about having the annual pass too, is like, we don't have to make the whole day feel worse it and like do so much stuff especially going with the kids and especially especially going with 
a little baby i feel like just being able to just really take things slow have no expectations really just makes it so much more fun and so much more doable this will be the third time that alice has gone it's my first time taking the kids without steven both other times things went really really well we were only there for like five hours the first time and like four hours the second time so like very much a half day and i feel like that's that's the way our disney trips are going to be probably for a long time and since rachel is like also going with her baby i feel like we're very much going to be on the same page take lots of breaks move very slowly go to the baby care centers when we need i'm actually not too nervous i feel like i feel like i can do it steven thinks i'm crazy to do it on my own but i'm like hey worst that can happen is everything goes wrong and we go back home and that's okay too no harm no foul we are on our way to disney we're actually almost there getting off the freeway soon we're like 15 minutes out um there's been kind of a lot of traffic but other than that the drive has been super super smooth alice has been asleep the whole time grace fell asleep after like maybe 20 minutes so it's been uh, an easy peaceful drive i was uh, just listening back to the episode for 20 whatever that I did on my birth story with Kenzie and Steven that's gonna be coming out I think in like a week so this drive was the perfect opportunity to review it listen back now boom bada boom we are approaching our Disney exit I'm excited it's gonna be a good Disney day good Disney evening really I'm so glad we decided to go a little bit later because it got pretty hot today it got like up into the 80s now it's down to like 72 and uh it's only only gonna go down from here so looking like the perfect time for disney it down well we closed down california adventure 10 p.m they just played the little closing message and we are walking out we said bye to rachel in august maybe 20 minutes ago so they made it pretty late too we just hit up one more ride on the way out we did monsters inc but yeah amazing disney day with rachel and the kids first uh first time now under my belt doing disney with grace and alice without steven and there were a couple hard moments but overwhelmingly very positive i feel like this is definitely definitely something i could do again so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye i said bye